Hi guys, and welcome back to another Sean the Buffalo video. And this is another PCCO video where we are using a new or a different deck for a different event in the Players' Cup 3 events that are currently undergo on, on the PTCGO platform. So today we are covering our big bad boy Centipede, Centiscorch VMAX, which uh, is the strength of this card lies in the fact that it has no damage ceiling on its attack due to the plus sign, not a, um, and it has no clause where it says you can't add a particular amount of damage in this way. So that's one of the many um, strengths of Centiscorch VMAX. We do also have an energy denial in Sunscorch V that has radiating heat where you discard an energy off yourself and your opponent's active Pokemon. And then we also have a Heatran GX to allow us to get through Zamazenta as well as the normal Sunscorch V obviously does that as well. Um, but the GX attack on Heatran does allow us to hit higher numbers than the Sunscorch V would allow us to. Um, we have also got a Sandscorch, uh, not a Sandscorch, sorry, a Cromorant V to allow us to prevent our opponent from retreating and hiding or stalling for a turn. And it also allows us to take additional uh, prizes on Dedenes if my opponent is trying to offset the prize uh, that makes it unfavourable for us. We can obviously chase down Cromorant Vs, uh, chase down Dedenes, <laughs> sorry. Um, we also play a copy of Eldegoss V that, because we only play six supporters in this deck, which is four welders and two bosses orders. The Eldegoss V allows us to get both of those back. And then other four um, supporting Pokemon or draw support Pokemon are Crobat V and Dedane GX. And then some other support Pokemon we have Marshadow because Chaotic Swell stops us from being able to put our Giant Half in play, which is one of the necessary combo pieces for the maximum eff uh, efficiency of Welder. And we do also play a copy of Fion because we only play two boss orders, but also you can't Welder and boss in the same turn. And a Fion is kind of, in a sense, half a boss because it stops your opponent from hiding behind dolls unless they've got more than one. And it does also mean that we can still uh, put something to the bench that we particularly didn't want to attack into um, to be able to take it out with our Sense Scorch V. Um, or Sense Scorch V Max, sorry. Um, we have two copies of Fire Crystal in here because we play 10 energy, but 10 energy is not always enough, especially against stall decks. And we play a bunch of consistency items in Quick Ball, Pokemon Communication, and Great Ball. That, uh, oh, that's probably you. <laughs> and Great Ball that allows us to search our Pokemon and also four copies of Poker Gear as we only play six supporters. Um, the ideal turn one for this deck is obviously to use Volcanion's Attack Flare Starter to uh, attach three energy cards from uh, to our Pokemon from our deck in any way we like, but we can only do it if we're going second. And with that being the case, the ideal turn one is us going second and being able to find the Volcanion. And with all the switch outs that we've got in this deck, which is a four switch and two air balloon, we should be able to accomplish that. Um, we do play two copies of Reset Stampin' here because there's zero Marnie in this deck, the only deck that I play without Marnie. And sometimes we do need to lower our opponent's hand as well as still being able to weld it and all boss in the same turn. So one of the strongest plays we can make in this deck is being able to Welder, being able to Fion, and being able to Reset Stamp in the same turn. Um, that's what makes this deck so flexible and yet so aggressive and like really and makes it really good basically. Um, and that's all for the deck basically. So I will be right back with some players cup uh, three matches. See you in a minute. So uh, <laughs> we're a little late on uh, pressing the record button, but. Um, we're not too far into the game, thankfully. And we are against some sort of Pikachu VMAX deck. Which, I'm not sure will pose too much of an issue, but I suppose uh, we will find out. My opponent uh, getting immediate access to the Coco Prism, as no one else seems surprised except me. <laughs> And he didn't seem to get a way to retreat this. So that is good for us to see. We're going to take immediate knockout on this Pikachu, uh, providing that we can find ourselves a Welder, which with the four welds in the deck, the four Poke Gears. Oh no, because uh, <laughs> the uh, Crushing Hammer, sorry, we can't take a knockout either way. 
Um, so we would need to find, well, not that, unfortunately, but uh, we'll take it, I suppose. And I don't think there's going to be much use for more than one of those in this game. So we're going to do a bit more deck thinning. And can we hit Welder? We do. So that's good for us to see. Do have the Welder for two. More energy. That's not great, but what can you do? And we do need to uh, attach again to the active here to be able to two, two shots a Pikachu V Max. So that's what we're going to do. Because we know my opponent plays Crushing Hammers, so if he hits another hammer here, then he'll take us back down to the 160 uh, benchmark, which does still allow us to take a knockout. And even if he hits two, we can always attach from hand to get back up to the 160 benchmark and still be able to take a knockout on a Pikachu VMAX. So how lucky is my opponent getting with these Crushing Hammers, eh? Um, so he goes better than uh, better than average and hits all three heads so far. <laughs> Will he hit four heads? I feel like that missed turn of my opponent not being able to electrify is more than enough time for us to be able to run away with this game as we have the Elder Goss in hand. And we'll still be able to make an attachment to the bench and Scorch Screen Max, which is good. And we can take the knockout on this. And we can also power up enough to make to ensure that we get the subsequent KO on the Pikachu, uh, um, Pikachu and Zephron as well. So we're here for uh, 120. Uh, that is 160-200. We will get. Um, let's see, 200. I think we just attached to the active, if I'm honest. I don't see much better else uh, things to do. And we do also power up off the uh, discard as well. So that's good. Quick ball off the prizes is very good, and the percent scotch V max off the prizes is very good. So we have all one could need realistically. Um, here I would have promoted the Crobat for sure. And my opponents ha simply happened to Marnie, which is um, perfectly fine by me, because there is no Welder in that hand. There's also no Marshadow in that hand in case he plays a Chaos Expel down right now, which I would very much expect to see. Um, I don't know why he's done that. Because it's going to get immediately knocked out. That seems to me a really, really bad play. You should have, um, and you switched it to this one. But my opponent do me a favour. Not all heroes wear capes, apparently. <laughs> and um, I have no idea why he's done that. Um, okay, so that's a victory for round one in the Players Cup. Um, so, can't really complain. 
and I will be back for game two in just a second. So we are back for game two and we flip and win and we will not be going first because as I explained in the as I explained in the deck profile, the very best turn one is to go Volcanion, which we do happen to start with here. So the switch outs are now uh, well not pointless per se, but Um, we are going to lose a fire energy and a fire crystal here because we are going to go forward to Dene, which could uh, potentially be greedy, but um, going for the Centre Scorch VMAX would um, leave us with an empty hand, which is not what we want. So, sorry about this, my mic is being an absolute nightmare. Um, so ideally, off the Dene, we would find ourselves two Sensecorch Vs and a Welder, but uh, Beckers can't be choosers. Just have to wait and see how lucky we get. <laughs> Which, starting the Uh, Coco in the active and forcing a switch is good enough for me, and also going second is also good enough for me. So we do see quite um, quite an extensive play on my opponent's behalf. So luckily we top deck a giant half, which is good because if we do find a welder, it will allow us to find additional resources. And we have prized one Sun Scorch V and a Fire Crystal and a Pokemon Communication and some energy. So, not bad prizes. Um, not good prizes by any means. Like, prizing, prizing energy when I'm about to discard one of my two Fire Crystals is not ideal. So finding this here is incredible and potentially maybe worth just unfortunately revealing the Fion in deck to grab our other Sense Scorch V to make sure there is no surprise knockout on a Sense Scorch V this turn. Um, so, we will quick ball away this, and grab Crobat, because if we can find Wilder now, we'll have two fully powered up, <laughs> and six NG in play. Can we find it? Um, what's the best card to discard here? We don't really want to discard a switch but that being said I don't think getting rid of one switch is too much of an issue so we get rid of one switch and we, we need to actually check our weld account we have all four welds in the deck we've, we've got 28 cards or 22 cards plus six prizes out the deck and <laughs> we do not find a welder um, so Tragic, certainly, but not really much to be said about that. And we only fire start off for two as well. That is awful. So that was my mistake grabbing the fire energies out of the deck. But with any luck, my opponent will money me. Because keeping the bosses and all this around is only useful for me. I don't particularly mind if he uh, if he finds a chaotic swell. A chaotic swell and a Marnie would obviously be frustrating to say the least. We're probably just going to see a professor's research. Oh, we do actually see a Marnie, so we get to keep our bosses around in uh, back in the deck, which is good because we don't need them now by any means. They are effectively useless right now. 
and we still have found no welder. So, cheers game, obviously, appreciate it. We may just see an electrified to this Boltons. Um, so, with any luck we find a Dene or Um, I was trying to think, yeah, we need a Dedene off this great ball, which <laughs> luckily we find. So, we will switch here. Hopefully we can find the Volcanium with this, because the Volcanium, getting that out of the deck would be good. Um, I don't think the Heatron GX is going to serve any purpose in this match. So we will just discard it. We need Welder here. Thank you. Thank you, game. Um, about time. Uh, we are just going to discard this Poker Gear for the energy. Ooh. And weld it onto the active. And we will. Great ball. Uh, for this, in case my opponent does uh, want to Marnie me again, I would rather have that at the bottom of the deck than any of the others, as the others provide more uh, utility. Um, now the question is, do I play the Fire Crystal now? And I don't think I do. I'd rather have it in deck. So we're now hitting 240. And we get some of our energy off the prizes. And another giant half. Not that the giant half particularly matters in this instance, but I hope. Now, can we find another boss? Because we're hitting uh, 120 here, 160 for the third, 200 for the fourth. 240. Well, crushing hammers are always a thing, I suppose. Um, but we're still taking a knockout on this Boltons regardless, so... It's not the end of the world. And of course, we could always find uh, one of our boss's orders here. Which we don't, we just see a straight up uh, Bolt Storm, which is uh, perfectly fine. Um, now the question is... I think we get rid of Eldegoss, because we do need to Welder for one to the bench. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, simple Welder for one is never what you want to see. And we do take another knockout and hopefully unlock a couple more of our fire energy. So he needs to. He has no fire energy, that's good. I would say right here, he needs to find Raichu and along with Raichu, and he's already promoted this. Uh, so unless he's planning on tag bolting. That's fine, because we unlock the other energy, so we can always grab it with Giant Half. Unless, again, he does find the Chaotic as well, which he doesn't. So... We don't have enough room for the Cramorants. We have two switches left in deck, and both our air balloons so and we have the fire crystal as well but I think we are just gonna have to uh, Dedene we need to make sure it's also in deck because if it's not obviously that that would be an issue um, we will get rid of the marshadow 
And we do have a Crobat. So that's good. Oh, that's crazy. Access to another crowbat. And we do also have the fire crystal, um, but we have attached to the active already, so that's not too helpful. Although, having the energy back into the deck so we can giant half it is very helpful. So we are going to fire crystal right now. Because we also need to hit a relevant amount of damage on this. And I think cards that I'd want at the bottom in case of a another Marnie would be this. And we'll just see uh, G-Max Inferno for 120. And grab another energy out of the deck. So this is allowing us to hit for 160 now. Which, unless he finds a big charm for this, means we do just get to boss it in next turn. Of course, my uh, these Picaram decks do usually tend to play two reset stamps. But my opponent no longer has um, a way of taking multiple prizes. So there's the Chaotic Squall. Did we see another reset stamp from my opponent as well? He's uh, most certainly going to dig for it. We can always hope that it's prized. And his Alola, his Raichu and Alolan Raichu is still prized, it would seem. Unless he's got it in hand right there from the prizes. Just hit Tails on the Crushing Hammer. So, I'm not entirely sure if there is an out for my opponent to win, because we... We correct it, uh, correctly used the fire crystal to retrieve the fire energies from our deck. He would have had to hit the reset stamp, hit the chaotic swell, and reset stamp us down, and hit the crushing hammer, sorry, and reset stamp us down too. So he does have access to another crushing hammer and another reset stamp, so I'm not going to count my opponent out just yet because these things do happen to me, and I really should have touched wood. <laughs> but um, we shall see exactly what happens here. He may even attempt to uh, static shock us. Um, or what? Oh no, uh, he's used his GX attack, so we can't use Tingler Return. Um, yeah, my opponent really needed the reset stamp there. And he really needed the right turn along and right you off the prizes as well, which it doesn't seem like he got. And that's my issue with the deck. I might start playing two of them myself. Um, I don't think he has any attack that's good enough. I'm pretty sure he's only got access to... Okay. Uh, full Blitz, yeah. I thought so, yeah. So we're hitting for 160 at the moment. We're going to be hitting 200 from the discard pile and it is literally as simple as that. We could have even probably found a welder off the poker gear as well, but there's no point to extend it. Um, oh, shouldn't have, I should have just pressed on there as well. Um, oh, I <laughs> should have given my opponent the well played as well, of course. Um, so that's round two of the Players' Cup and since got show, uh, given a good showing here. So that game took longer than expected and we will go straight into the next game. If my game will load it. <laughs> so will the luck be on our side? Will we get to go second? And Chansey, with its lucky egg, is most likely to make my opponent go second. Uh, which, <laughs> yeah, of course, we lose the, uh, the coin flip, and of course we are going first. And, of course, we have an awful hand. Um, so, 
<laughs> Not brilliant. <laughs> this is looking like a, a three points for this for this tournament for sure. Uh, can we find a Zidane here? No, we can't. I probably should have waited a turn, but wow. Um... Wow, this is all levels of awful. Uh, we're just gonna pass. I mean, my opponent can't donk me unless he. Um... I imagine this is a Pikachu deck. Um, my opponent can't donk me unless he manages to get a three energy Mewtwo and a Zigzagoon. <laughs> Pings me with Zigzagoon. Or, of course, he could be playing Vitality Band and then takes the knockout with the Tag Bolt GX with either a Vitality Band or, again, the um, <laughs> Zigzagoon Ping. Vitality Band or Zigzagoon Ping. He also needs to switch out as well. So, um, my hand is looking sick, and obviously my opponent will research and not Marnie. I assume there wasn't Marnie in that hand. Oh, there wasn't, so, Chaotic Swell, and that's why I kept this in, in hand. For that very reason. And, I mean, it's not looking spectacular for my opponent, to be honest. Uh, we do finally find, like, something. So, something's better than nothing, right? Um, let's see what we can achieve here. Well, the one. Wow, no other energies. Cheers. Um, so, <laughs> uh, this is looking uh, phenomenally good, obviously. Um, I mean, we could boss this in, <laughs> just to be annoying. Um, I don't think we're going to do that, however. Um, mm, I, I mean, we can't, actually, because we welded. What am I talking about? Um, this is really bad. We're just going to put this down. Uh, we will put this down because we'll need something to retreat so we can use the marsh shadow. It's unfortunate that it's happened to be Cramoran, but there we go. And pass. So it's just to make us a little bit more Marnie proof. That was the only uh, that was the only thought process behind playing that Cramoran that it does allow us to at least if if we do get Marnied. I mean, potentially that Crush and Hammer could have been saved if my opponent is tempted to play Marnie, or is tempted to play Marnie, sorry. Uh, which she's not, obviously. He is going to grab the Coco here, and imagine he will, yep, then use Professor's Research, and then probably use a Crobat. He might even use the Crobat here. My opponent obviously trying to, by force, um, dominate the game state, which is understandable. And we do see Amani. Um, so my opponent bailing us, thankfully. Probably a bit late for me now to um, do anything good. This hand's not looking great. My opponent probably got to go for a Crobat here. Uh, no, just go straight for the Dedenne. Still needs to switch out. I notice. Big charm on Zdene. That's fine. Would have been would have served more purpose on the Bolton. And switch your air balloon here, for my opponent. He misses it. Um, right. Okay. So, what do we do here? Uh, well, we certainly, as we top decked the giant half use that and I think we need to sort of capitalize as much as possible on my opponent's whiff here Heatran may come into play but we are just going to grab Crobat um, Volcanion 
no longer useful. Um, discard the other Volcanion. That Volcanion, no longer useful. I, I'm actually going to discard the uh, Heatron. So we have already Crobatted. I don't think the Heatron is going to be of any use. I'm keeping the last bench spot open as well to ensure that should we... Oh, I should have... Um, I blatantly should have used Aldegoss there. Um, so, two Sand Scorchers should be enough. Uh, we'll put this here. We can't evolve that one yet. Anyway, so... We will just grab Aldegoss here. And... We will use Giant Half because that puts a third one in there. Uh, which gives us out to our... Fire Crystals being live. So... <laughs> We are way too late to this ball, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. <laughs> We've picked up slowly, and my opponent's discarded a lot of resources to get to the board that he's at. Um, so we're even going to Fire Crystal now, just to be able to get the attachment on the bench one. Um, now, because he hasn't big charmed this, we're hitting for... Uh, 120, 160 after the attachment, so we need to hit for 160 now and 200 after the attachment. And if he doesn't get a giant half, uh, if he doesn't get. Oh, whoops. <laughs> if he doesn't get a big charm on this. I was too. Uh... <laughs> this next card was the uh, air balloon. So he's grabbing another Mew Mewtwo. We need to find a Poker Gear here. A Poker Gear or a Welder top deck and the Poker Gear finding a Welder is exactly what we need to sort of secure the win here. Um. My opponent's only down to 12 cards. And he must have a couple of crushing hammers prized. So, it turns out that my play of um, excuse me. My play of uh, using the fire crystal to get this back was indeed the correct play. So, I would like to boss here and we are also going to discard another energy in case he tries to boss around this for whatever reason. And I also want to grab two energies out of the deck um, in case he does attempt to Marnie me again. So. It's looking fine at the moment. He has to deal with this immediate threat. And we find a Welder off the prizes, which is good. And a Poker Gear off the prizes, which is good. And a Fire Crystal off the prizes. So, three exceptionally good prizes to see there. But we are likely to see a reset stamp from my opponent. And indeed a Crushing Hammer as well, which is just as bad. And we do see the Marnie, like I said. So, uh, not looking great, obviously. Another welder to the bottom of the deck. We do have... Sorry, uh, my mic keeps falling over. We do have access to another Dedenne and Crobat V. So, 
so that's relatively good. Um, what's not good is this bolt and it's doing me adding. Um, so, I think we want to great ball for nothing, which is fine. Put this sense scorch V back. And I mean, we're going to be drawing six either way, so to Denny at this point, I don't think will matter. We will grab, yeah, nothing is the best thing to do here. We do need to crow back for six. And we do happen to find the welder as well, so. It's not looking awful by any means. But I think I am have to go here, drag these two out, and hope to find a reset stamp here. So, attach to off welder. And my opponent's hitting for 160, uh, 36, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 160. Oh no, he's hitting 190 now. Um, so, I'd rather give up a Cramorant, uh, I'd rather give up a Crobat than a Cramorant, obviously. We do also find the reset stamp, which is very good. And we will simply retreat into this crowbar and pass. So my opponent would need boss for so for certain here. He does have access to two other bosses orders, assuming they are prize. He is down his Weldegoth, uh, his Aldegoth, sorry, I refer to him as Weldegoth, <laughs> obviously, for this step. Um, so he is going to just straight out to Denny for this boss. No, he's going to discard the box for whatever reason. That seems extremely suboptimal to me. My opponent might be assuming that I only play one reset stamp. Or maybe he's looking for a double energy switch play. He could be looking for double energy switch. Well, not with that attachment there. I was going to say he would be looking for double energy switch. Um, double energy switch tag bolt play is what I was thinking about. I assume my opponent was also looking for the extra reset stamp as well. The question is though, does it, did he find his other boss's orders? I don't know. What exactly is going from my opponent's head here? But we may have won if he found neither boss's orders nor the reset stamp. If he's found neither of them, we have. <laughs> well, Marnie is the next best thing, obviously. Um, but we do have our Danny left in deck. Chaotic Swell does present a problem. Um, they were awful prizes, but we have double switch. Now does my opponent find his last boss is the only question. Please attach. <laughs> that would have been awful. So, is he hitting the required numbers for this? I don't think he is. 
but I assume he's only uh, promoting it so he can retreat. Ah, uh, now we need a top deck of a fire energy as well, or our fire crystal. We do have five, uh, sorry, two fire energies left in the deck and one fire crystal. And we see a reset stamp. If we can get a quick ball, um, now we find a switch. So we see the standard uh, tandem shot play. Um, but our opponent has us, um, I'm pretty certain, yeah, because he hasn't even used his GX attack yet. So, we'll just hit for damage and say well played. I don't know what's going on with my mouse today, it's just not clicking things apparently. Or oh, it doesn't, or oh, the PC platform doesn't want to let me select things. But yeah, um, I mean, yeah, well played to my opponent. I don't know why it's taken ages. Uh, it's just quick. I hate the arrows. Um, so, we came second with Sam Scotch. Um, and you've seen how terrible my luck was in all of that tournament, and I still came second. So that does give validity to the strength of Sun Scorch VMAX, that even when you just have suboptimal hands, you can still get second in a Players' Cup tournament. So uh, I'll be right back with the deck. So um, under the pressure of the Players' Cup, I had been forgetting to give these out, but to my viewers, we have some more, if it'll focus, some more codes, very sorry that the focusing is awful, there we go. Um, so there's one code, and we also have one more. Again, providing it will focus. <laughs> I'm very sorry about that, there we go. Um, so that is the video done with, and yeah, like I say, if you want to give this a try, hopefully you'll have much better luck than me. Um, I came second with suboptimal hands, so if I came second, with suboptimal hands, where can you guys come with normal, decent luck? Um, if you enjoyed the content, please drop a like on the video, I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed yet, please go subscribe and ring that bell over there as well to um, ensure that you are you receive notifications for my upcoming videos. And that's all from me, so peace out guys!